our country is not is not set up to to support the micro and small enterprises um, and it's as a re result of failure on, of the system so de depends on your business different things will hit you if you're in manufacturing you'll struggle because of power and the power situation has been like that since I could remember. Um, so you are stuck with providing alternative power for yourself, and then that increases your overhead cost. You throw it into your product, it increases the price. You cannot um, compete with the multinationals who are able to produce on scale, on a large scale, and that can drop the um, unit cost. Now, if you're not there in that kind of business, there are other businesses as well, you'll then be stuck with double taxation. You'll have people barred into your office and ask you to pay radio and TV license, like, hello, there's no TV or radio here. Um, they had come here twice. I'm like, you'll have to take me to court because I'm very clear on the fact that I'm not meant to pay any license except I have a TV or radio here or the local government will come and ask you for something. Like I already paid the federal government. I already paid Lagos state government. Like, so who are you again? You know, like there's, there's so many things out to frustrate the Nigerian entrepreneur. Um, you, are, you have to either tell yourself, I'm going to do this or I'm not. Um, because it's a, it's a larger issue. It's not just, oh, the, the, and then there's lack of access to funding. So for you to scale, you're looking at how you can get funds. Loans are, <laughs> they're not friendly. Um, and then the grants are one in the ocean, and there's hundreds of us that are trying to access the grants. Um, so at the end of the day, you, it's your resolve. Like, do I want to do this or not? Because we cannot change, currently we cannot change some of the things that are government-focused, etc.